Josie Lanzi. Welcome to Off the Hook on the Plate. Another beautiful weekend and we're going to head out offshore fishing today. So grab your pole, join me, help me bring home the fresh catch of the day. We'll come back here and yet create another Off the Hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. Ready? Just caught my first shark of the day. Nice. Very nice. Whew. Got a nice gag over here. Very nice. Well, I'm going to have to send it back. Keep her size, but not the season. Dang. What a great fishing day. We got a hogfish this time around. Nice hogfish Brent caught. That's pretty. Look at that. It's bleeding, huh? Yeah, he's hooked in the gill. He's got pretty oh, eyes, though. It's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. All right, well, it's hot out here and we're going to head back in because uh, the bite died down, but uh, nice fishing day. To the water right now. There you go. There you go. Do you see it? He saw that. He didn't go for it. Today we're going to start by making a delicious orange sauce for our fresh catch of the day. So let's start. On the, in a small saucepan here, I'm going to add a quarter cup of orange juice. I use fresh squeeze, but any orange juice will be fine. Two tablespoons of white wine. And a small shallot or red onion. You want to bring this to a boil and let it reduce by half. Okay, now it's time for our fresh catch of the day. And this is uh, all filleted and ready to go now, our hogfish. Now for this dish, you could easily substitute an orange roughy fish or a flounder. We're looking for a white, delicate fish. And we're going to keep this very simple so we taste that fresh catch of the day. Alrighty, we're going to drizzle with a little olive oil, season with a little sea salt, and a little bit of Old Bay. You want to do this on both sides. Always seasons both sides. Sea salt. We'll drizzle of olive oil. This was also help prevent sticking and it gives great flavor. Okay, time to add our fillets to the pan. Okay, now the sauce has reduced by half as you can see and now I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to whisk the butter until it completely melts and that's also going to make the sauce nice and buttery and creamy. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, the fish has been cooking for a couple minutes. You know when it's ready to turn, when you see uh, it turning white around the edges like that, that's time to um, turn it on the other side. There you go. Look at that. It's very white, flaky, delicate fish. Beautiful. Cook it for another couple minutes. Cook. Now for this fish dish, I like to put the sauce at the bottom of the plate. Just like that. Look at this beautiful orange sauce. Look at that. Wow. It's like a wow factor, but it's super easy and simple. I'm now placing the cooked hogfish right on top of the sauce like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful already? And I'm just going to do a few finishing touch. Add a couple green chive on the top. And grate a little orange zest all over the top. There you have it. Hogfish over a superb creamy orange sauce. You are just going to love this. I had yet another fabulous time sharing my fishing trip and another off the hook recipe with you guys. So I count on seeing you again next week for another off the hook on the plate recipe.